Junior makes tires, tires go on cars. That seems like a good enough reason to do a Kelly Blue Book video about the Goodyear Blimp. Let's go blimp hunting. That's the Goodyear Blimp. Pointing out that fact is stupid because A, it literally says Goodyear on the side in huge letters, and B, this iconic airship is one of the most recognizable brand ambassadors on the planet. Apologies to the Wienermobile. Leveraging my position as a journalist to score a ride seemed like a good idea, so that's exactly what I did. But first, here's Bill Bayless, blue blocker enthusiast and professional blimp pilot, to explain why Goodyear has a fleet of blimps. It started with P.W. Litchfield, so he was interested in using these blimps, and um, that's kind of goes back to the 20s um, with using them for public relations. He was the, the head of Goodyear at the time. Little blimp 101, there's two uh, smaller balloons inside the big balloon, uh, one above these two uh, valves and then one above these aft valves. So we're constantly changing the amount of air inside of those ballonets, which is French for balloon, to compensate for the helium gas changes. Hydrogen's lighter than helium, but Hydrogen is extremely flammable. Helium is an inert gas, so if you put that on a fire, it'll put the fire out. But it's not, a, not as good at lifting. It takes 15 people to launch and land one of these GZ-20s. Uh, that's not including the pilot. I can't ever say enough about the crew. The amount of training and just how elite they are to operate one of these is, uh, I mean, second to none. That's why Goodyear's in the blimp business. But the bigger question, what's it like to ride in the blimp? I have a slump control because there's wind today, so that helps. Yeah. But it's a lot of what they're doing, just kind of pulling me side to side. And there's guys on the car right here. They're actually holding me down. So if I get a gust of wind, the blimp will want to fly. Yeah. moving through the air and it's diverting air into that air bladder. But what I do is when I pull this toggle, see those valves open? Yeah. That's letting air out and that makes the nose lighter. A little, uh, little nose down. Yep. Little, uh... So you can see it's not that hard to move, but you just need to move it in like big movements when you do it. So that's a lot of nose up. So this is like full nose up, right? And then eventually it happens. You can see like it took about a second and a half before it actually reacted. And then I'll show you what down looks like. Um, you'll see this when we go to land, because this is how we go down. Oh, this feels unsettling. <laughs> totally normal, I know. Like, I think... Uh, you ever anybody just like fall through the windshield? No. I'm asking, you know, for a friend. No. I have a friend who's curious. <laughs> Goodyear tires on our blimp too. I don't know if you noticed that. There's one underneath us. I noticed the one. Yeah, and there's one on back. We're not really supposed to hit that other one, but it's kind of like a buffer between uh, our um, our bottom rudder. So correct me if I'm wrong, but there's no way I can buy my way onto a blimp flight, right? Unfortunately, you can. It's by invitation only. So we never take money for a blimp ride ever, yeah. but we do give rides to charities, and those charities silent auction the rides. And uh -huh. so that's how the general public is able to get on if they really want to. Unfortunately, it's really expensive, but but all that money does goes to the charity, so it does help them out. And with the blimp landing, every landing has to be perfect. Shove that nose down. That was really good. <laughs> like, I don't know what a blimp landing is supposed to look like that, but that felt like, like aces, man.
despite being a pilot myself, the Goodyear blimp is like nothing I've experienced. It's more serene and more thrilling than I could have imagined. The economic and logistic challenges of maintaining a blimp fleet are staggering, but this blimp and the people who keep it aloft are brilliant representatives for the Goodyear brand. Here's hoping they float along for another 90 years. Ha <laughs> <laughs>